Hello everybody, I am Crunchy Scott and today I am going to review this new Keurig coffee maker. It is the K Supreme Plus. I have wanted a new coffee maker pretty much since the week after I unboxed and reviewed this little devil, the K Mini. Ugh. So not only will I unbox and review this thing, but I will also make a cup of coffee and review it and show you all the bells and whistles that it comes with. I'll also tell you why I don't like this thing and how, why I've suffered with it for about two and a half years. I'll actually show you why I don't like this thing. You also might be wondering, well, if you have had such troubles with Keurig, why are you going for another Keurig? So I'll explain that in this video as well. So if you're new to my channel, you'll usually finally hear in my, you usually find me here in my kitchen whipping up delicious vegan recipes. So please check those recipes out. I love doing reviews like this and actually my reviews get more views than my recipes do. So please show my recipe some love and uh, go ahead and like this video and subscribe too. I would really appreciate it because I'm a total 80s guy and I love making recipes from the 70s and 80s and 90s. Maybe not the 90s. This is a legit unboxing. I have not gone through this beforehand. So I'll try and make it quick because, you know, I, when I watch unboxings, I really like them just to get to the part where they try it out. So I want to get to that part too. But I do want to show you what all this comes with. So it looks like it comes with a little bit of a manual. This is a little plastic thing above. I bet this is the water filter. And then that is probably, that feels squishy. So I bet that's one of the filters that goes into the water filter. This is the, so that you can use your own coffee. This is that little thing on the bob. And that, which I do love, but I really love that some of the K-cups now, well, I think all the K-cups are recyclable, which is really nice. Coffee and coffee. That's great. That's really nice. Um, I did get this at Costco. I, I mentioned the, the um, Kirkland brand. I got it at Costco for $135, I think. I think that's a pretty good deal. The K-mini, I can't remember. I think it was like under $100. All right, here comes the, oh gosh. This is a lot. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put this on the ground and then lift it up because this is kind of heavy. This is significantly, oh gosh, my microphone's about to come off. Yikes. Let's unveil. Oh, that's pretty. See, I was worried about the space. This part is the same size as the K-Mini, but of course you have the water reservoir on the side. But to me, I think it might be worth it. So, well, we'll see, because I just bought it, right? Okay, so let me wash this thing up and then we'll put it to the test. You can see from that video that putting the charcoal filter together takes just a matter of minutes and it all comes together really fast. I also did the cleansing brew, no K-Pod necessary. It just runs hot water through the system to kind of clean everything out. So I did all of that and then I went to sleep because it was getting late. It was late at night and the last thing you need is coffee at like 11.30 at night. So I did all that and now it is the morning and I will say I'm a little more jazzed than usual only because I'm trying to do a video but usually I am the type of person that needs at least a few sips of coffee in me before I even want to speak to the world. And I think there are actually a couple of people in the world that would prefer that I have some coffee in me before they speak to me as well. So that all just signifies how important it is to have a working coffee maker. So this is the picture. This is the moment that happens to me every morning. I come down here and I get ready to get my coffee together, which is like the juice of life. This is the K-Mini, which does just the pour down the little, oh, it's a little there. Um, I really don't mind pouring the water into the reservoir to make a cup of coffee in the morning. And then you just pop this here, pop in the K-Cup. This is me every morning. And then you do this, you hit the button, and that happens. Did you hear that? That water, whatever the reservoir was and it's sending it through the system, it just stops. And usually it doesn't start back up again on its own. I have let it sit here for like 20 minutes at a time and blah, blah, blah. 
So this all started happening, I'd say about three or four weeks after I got the thing, so two and a half years ago. And I was like, okay, maybe it's just a fluke and it would happen randomly. And then I would say at about four or five months in, it started happening quite often. I finagle it a bit, like usually when you lift and then you push down again and then you hit this. See, it sends through more water, but it doesn't send through enough water to brew your cup and it doesn't signify okay let's make a cup of coffee now and usually i think this would happen if you did back-to-back -back cups but i don't do back-to-back -back cups this is what happens to me the first time i turn this machine on in the morning so it's quite annoying and i would say after about five or six months this started happening to me i would say three to four times a week it was quite frustrating i would say um, and i also say that the coffee comes out hot but by the time I put a little dash of coconut milk or soy milk or in it, and by the time I take the mug actually itself and walk up to my home office where I've been working for the last two years, um, it's almost stone cold. It's really gross. So complete bummer. I will explain later on why I decided to limp through this for the last two, two and a half years, and why, even though I'm dealing with such troubles with the Keurig, this Keurig, why I decided to go with another Keurig. On to happier news. This is the K Supreme Plus, and let's give it a little tour, shall we? So you can already see the difference between that and the K Mini, which is right there, is that it's got the nice little water reservoir on the side with a great handle so you can remove it and fill it up. I love that. Really easy there on the top to open up. I would say, so I put a ruler here. It's about a foot deep. It's also just a tad shy of a foot tall. And then width wise, it's about eight inches. And even though it is, it's got the X, the addition of the water pitcher, you know, the K-Mini obviously doesn't need that. I still feel like it's nice and compact. My kitchen is very small and this is going to fit just fine. I'm not worried. I did some measurements. So love all that. And then here on top, you can see the little digital display there. The power button is right there. And then the digital display about the strength and the temperature. But I love that you can also set individuals um, with the, whatever, you know, like person one likes their strength really strong. Person two likes it weak and the temperature a little bit lower. You know, I love that you can set those kinds of things, which is really nice, especially for those of you who may have more than one coffee drinker in your home. You can also have an over ice option. How fabulous is that? And then here is the top display. There's your strength button and your temperature button to set those with the digital display. And then you have options four, eight, no, four, six, eight, 10, and 12 ounces, which is really terrific. Under here, before we get to the magic, this is like the other K cups. You know, it's got this nice little um, grate here so that if the coffee pours over for some reason, um, you know, it catches down in there. And then you can also, let me see if I can do this with one hand. You can also remove all this if you have a really tall coffee mug. So love that. My coffee mugs, I have some pretty chunky coffee mugs and they all seem to fit just fine. So um, anyways, oh, come on. I can only, I can't do all this with one hand. Jeez. Uh, anyway, so up here we pop this and this is where the magic is. It is a five prong instead of just the one prong. And I have to admit something. I wanted to puncture a um, K cup so I could show you the five. There it is, nice, there it is, all five pronged. I didn't mean to brew, but I obviously clicked something. So full disclosure, I do have a cup of coffee sitting in the side of me, uh, beside me, and I really want to drink it, but I wanted to do a brew on camera. So I really apologize. We'll still do a brew on camera, but that's why everything's a little dirty because I, uh, I did an actual brew. But anyways, five versus the one here. And oh, you can really see how dirty those get. <laughs> Anyways, um, so anyways, that's what's supposed to make the better cup of coffee because you have five of those little punctures that go through versus just the one. So there it is. Yeah, yeah. Um, all right, so I think we should brew a cup of coffee. I have got my worst witch coffee mug because I am so feeling the fall and Halloween vibes these days. By the way, I do have a worst witch recipe on my channel. It is a Ms. Cackle, Ms. Cackle apple that is delicious. So anyways, got the mug and I'm going to use this Kirkland brand 
breakfast blend. I have never once in my life you tasted any Kirkland brand coffee, so this will be interesting. So here we go. Pop the little thing, really super easy. Put this thing in there. Dunsies. I am going to do 10 ounces because that is typically what I would do. So you click that, click the clay, get the K, K, click the K, and the baby's ready to go. So while we're waiting for this coffee to brew, I did want to say I have a couple of delicious, oh wait, oh my God, that is really fast. I didn't expect it to start so soon. I was going to do some plugs for my coffee recipes um, that are on the channel. Oh, uh, okay. Well, that's amazing. So I do have a couple of coffee recipes on my channel. I have a Wonder Woman coffee that is absolutely delicious. I also have a Charlie Brown, um, great pumpkin latte that I'm probably going to make soon, but the recipe is on my channel and that is delicious uh, and perfect for fall. I also have a yummy Brady Bunch coffee cake recipe that you have to try. And all my recipes are vegan because I am vegan and they're all throwbacks to some of my favorite TV shows and specials that I absolutely love. So they're really fun videos. Please check them out. So this is taking no time at all. I believe with the K mini, boy, I am giving the K mini just total drama today, aren't I? Um, I? It did take a few seconds for that to kick in, but this was basically instantaneous. I mean, this thing started within just like one or two seconds, I think, of me pushing that little button. So that's amazing. And here it is, basically done. Oh, is that not the best sound? If you have a Keurig, you know that is the sound of life. It smells so good and I am so tempted to just take a really big gulp because I really need it right now, but I'm not. I'm going to let it cool down and I'll talk a little bit more about the K-Mini here. So I did limp along with the K-Mini for much longer than I should have. And I did that because when I started having all the real troubles, COVID had just started and the world just felt so unsure and insecure. And even though I'm so grateful that my job was steady, I didn't want to make any other purchases. And I was like, you know what? I'll just limp along this with this machine. It works because every, you know, I just do the thing a couple times and I actually do get a cup of coffee and every once in a while it does work just fine. But that's really why I kind of kept going with it. And after over two years of trouble with the K-Mini, you might be like, well, why did you go for another Keurig if you had trouble with that brand? Well, I encourage you to watch the actual review of this K-Mini that I did a few years ago. I'll post the link down below because in that I show you the original Keurig that I had and I cannot say enough good things about that Keurig. That thing was a work workhorse and it really did give me confidence in the Keurig brand. I don't know if I got just a bad one or if other people had troubles. I have had a few friends who are like, yeah, I have a K-Mini, I don't really love it. Um, but that's just, that's not research. <laughs> but anyways, feeling and seeing that original Keurig and seeing that video, I really think you'll get a better understanding of why I decided to kind of go with another um, Keurig coffee maker. So with that said, let's taste this coffee. This is not a taste test for what is the brand called Kirkland brand, but I do a good coffee maker will make a good cup of coffee. Oh, it's so hot. It's still hot, which I love. Yeah, that's good. That's really good. You guys saw how quickly that happened too. It was really fast. Oh, thank God it's morning and I need this drunk coffee. Okay, yeah, maybe after a cup of coffee, I can actually talk. Oy. All right, so I would say with the size of this machine, the look of the machine, I really love it, and how efficient the machine is, and with all the options that it comes with, I really would give this K Keurig Supreme Plus, is the name of it, Keurig Supreme Plus, I think. Um, I would give it 10 out of 10. It's really... Um, I really love it and I hope I love it in the next few months and weeks ahead too. Um, and I'll definitely be posting updates on my social media if I do start having any troubles with it. But for now, I really love this thing. It's a 10 out of 10. It makes a good cup of coffee. It looks great and I'm really happy with it. So thanks for watching this review. Be sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, check out all my awesome recipes and I will see you back here next time. Go have a delicious cup of coffee because that's what I'm going to do. Mm.